Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Toy Warp Vintage Reviews. If this is your first time here, please reach over, hit that subscribe button, and the bell icon to stay up to date on all the great toy episodes I have in the works, and maybe check out some past episodes as well. Some will even be linked at the end of this video. Thank you for watching everybody and enjoy. What's going on everybody? In today's review, I'll be taking a look at the 1982 Stomper Devil Mountain playset. trucks were first available in 1980. Stomper 4x4s, working lights, detailed design, and four-wheel drive, battery for each not included. There are four models, the Chevy Blazer, the Dodge Warlock, the Jeep Honcho, or the Ford Bronco. With battery-powered four-wheel drive, you can tackle almost any hill, almost any surface, because four-wheel drive provides power. Stomper 4x4s with headlights, each sold separately or available in sets, from Shopper. The original playset, offered by Shaper, parent company of Stomper, was the Wild Mountain playset that featured more fragile pieces of foam for the track. In 1982, a redesign of the playset came in the form of Devil Mountain, which featured the two ramps and bridge crossover that would become the staple of any Stomper playset. These interlocking tracks that was flexible so you could add in your own hills and valleys. And these turnarounds that were designed to keep the trucks contained in the track during operation. While the Stomper trucks themselves are currently fetching some astronomical prices, the track playsets are still affordable. As a matter of fact, if you can find a set on Evil Bay, you'll probably pay just as much, if not more, in shipping than you will for the actual playset. Stomper trucks and the playsets that accompany them hold a special place in my memory. Other than a few Hot Wheels cars, the Stomper trucks and tracks were my earliest childhood toys. My favorite thing to do was wait until it got dark, turn on all the stomper trucks I had, and flip out the light so I could see them traverse the track with the headlights blaring. To my four-year-old mind, the headlights shone just like they did on the package. That kind of makes me wonder, now that I've got some track and some really good stomper trucks, what would that look like now?
What kind of memories do you have with Stompers? Or are their LGN counterparts roughly? Tell me in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for more vintage reviews and more upcoming Stomper content. If you liked what you saw today, give the video a like and share it with your friends. I thank you for watching, everybody.